I am wearing a life jacket which I haven't worn for many, many years, probably about 20 years. And when I put it on, I found that I have a side pocket and in that side pocket is a survival kit which always went with me wherever I went, in the boat or in the canoe, because if I were to fall overboard, I would need something with me to be able to survive in the bush. And um, I haven't seen what's inside that. I have no idea what's in there. So I am going to open this up first time in many, many years, see what's inside it. And I'm like a kid at Christmas. How about you? You want to have a look inside too? Of course you do. All right. So here's my pocket survival kit from 20 years ago. And you'll see that it's nicely taped up so that it wouldn't come apart. And it's probably waterproof. And at the bottom of it, there's some stuff taped onto the bottom, which uh, I'm going to cut off and we'll have a look and see what it is before we open it up. So the first thing at the bottom is some tin foil. You can always use tin foil for but a bazillion different things. And inside the tin foil, we have, let's see what we have inside the tin foil. Ah, matches from Mr. Steak. <laughs> well, <laughs> That's something you don't get very often anymore. You know, when you go to restaurants, you always had complimentary matches because you were smoking in the restaurant. Well, now that hasn't happened for a long time. And then, of course, what you need is mosquito repellent. If you get stuck out in the bush, you want some mosquito repellent, so there's some deep woods off. Then, we'll just take this off. Look at that. Kid at Christmas opening up presents here. This is pretty interesting. Nice little bird on here, so it kind of fits the the idea. Okay, wow. This stuff ain't much good anymore. Look at this. This is basically a first aid kit. We have bandages, and we have this is for if you get burnt. This is a burn swab, alcohol swabs, more bandages. Wow. We did well with that. Aspirin. And a few other things, which I'm not sure they are. Snare wire. You know what? you got to have snare wire. That's for hanging your little pot from the... Or, or some food, wiring some food, some fish onto a stick to roast over the fire. Or, or snare a couple of small animals if you want, or snare some fish. And here we have just a little bit of, of red ribbon, which can be used to, uh, you could actually use a little piece of this for, put on a fishing lure for catching some fish as well. Or, you know, to mark things. We had some waterproof matches. <laughs> Look at this, eh? We have a Trojan prophylactic. You know what that's for? Well, hmm. if you're in the bush, what it's for, it's for hauling water, believe it or not. <laughs> so you can haul water with this. A lot of water. And we have, this stuff is just kind of like crammed in here. We have a flashlight. Does it still work? Probably not. Oh well, yeah, you know what? It still works. <laughs> These batteries last a long time. What else we got? I have no I have no idea what this is.
this is a uh, wax for what I don't know what I put it in there for more matches just scattered loose here we have oh my goodness here we have water purification tablets so this is for purifying drinking water this by the way you could probably use for carrying a little bit of water but something leaked in here so it's uh, not something that i would want I'm not sure what's in here ah compass gotta have a compass right well we got a lot of stuff in this little survival kit and we have a candle. Got to have a candle. That's a good thing to have. I'm not going to crash on shore here, am I? No. Nope. This here would be some more insect repellent in here. And... Ah! This is a magnesium fire starter. So this is where you shave off your magnesium and then you would use your knife. I don't want to ruin this thing on it, but that creates a spark. So that's your magnesium fire starter stick. More matches. Oh my goodness. Fishing equipment. What do we like for fishing equipment? We have a jig. That'll catch just about everything. And we have some fishing line and some hooks. More matches, some uh, weights, and we have some needles. That's good for some surgical repair or some gear repair, I suppose. And a couple of uh, small safety pins. You can always use those. And here's something that I thought was, at the time, was something that would be interesting and that is a saw a portable saw cutting wood but it's all tangled in the fishing line so i don't know if i can actually untangle it or not so the saw is of course everything's tangled in here something leaked in there after 20 years you got to do something i suppose this is your saw you can saw your wood with that. You can see it's already saw on my cutting board. So there you go. That is what is in my pocket survival kit. Do you guys think I could survive with that? Oh, we also have some fishing leaders stuck in there. I wonder what the heck leaked in there. So I guess the moral of this story is, is to open up your pocket survival kit, you know, at least every few years and have a look at it and see what's leaking and maybe redo it. But I think I could have survived with this out in the bush if I had to. What do you think? <laughs> Thanks for watching.